Equity Principal Auditions, EPAs, are auditions organized by the Actors' Equity Association, also known as AEA, the labor union representing actors and stage managers in the United States. These auditions are specifically for actors seeking principal roles in equity productions, which are professional theater productions that adhere to certain labor standards and conditions set by the union. The question that needs to be answered is, are they worth your time? Welcome to Casting Actors Cast, the podcast and videos for actors from a casting profession. It's time for another episode of Casting Actors Cast, insights for actors from a casting director. Here he is, your host, Jeffrey Dreisbach. Well, hello and welcome to today's episode of Casting Actors Cast. Nice to see you. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach. You are in Casting Actors Cast land, the patios, the podcast videos for actors. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach. I'm with McCorkle Casting in New York. And I'm really excited to share this information, but you should know that this is my opinion, that you're going to find other casting folks or other people in the profession that might feel slightly differently about what I'm going to share with you. So this is just coming from my point of view. I have also done many, 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 many <laughs> EPAs uh, as my role it, being a casting person. And so I can address directly what happens at EPAs as well as give you my sense about how useful they are for you. So I think this is going to be a really helpful episode for those of you who are asking this question. By the way, I get this question frequently. And so hopefully I can give you some answers and some guidance and some support. But first, this is that moment of the podcast that I get to say thank you for tuning into Casting Actors Cast. I invite you to check out the website, Casting Actors Cast, all one word, dot com. There you're going to find all kinds of cool information. There's also a form that says dive into the talent pool. If you do that, it opens up some freebies. I really mean free. One is a book on doing voiceovers called Conversation Pieces Out of the Studio. It's a 100-page PDF that you can download right then and there, just filling out that form. I don't do anything with the information you provide. I just like knowing that there are people out there that are actively interested in the materials that I'm giving to you for free. <laughs> so hopefully that is enough incentive for you. Um, I don't sell your email address or spam you or any of that stuff at all. So uh, you're in a safe place. I can promise you that. Um, the other thing that you can do when you fill out that form, by the way, is a, a video that I put together. It's a 20-minute video called Casting Secrets, What They Don't Tell You. And I'm going to tell you in this free 20-minute video. Also, I want to give you this announcement. It's very exciting that I have been approached by some producers of Creative Consulting Partners. That's their name. And they've asked me to put together a, a course on auditioning. And so the name of the course is The Art of the Audition by yours truly, Jeffrey Dreisbach. And this is available to you. It is for purchase. So I just want to make sure you know that. But I'm going to be putting a link on the website, castingactresscast.com. That link is also going to contain a code. It'll take you to the casting Sorry, it'll take you to the Creative Partners website, and that code is entitling you to 50% off for that course. So please do check them out. Um, I'm very excited about the prospect of this being something that could be truly life-changing for folks, because I talk about auditions in a very comprehensive and very useful way. Also, I provide handout material for each of the modules for the class. So I think you might find it useful, and I'm going to encourage you to just please at least check it out. I think you'll find it very, very worthwhile. Finally, here's my shout out to my good friends at Actors Connection, actorsconnection.com slash New York. Do check out their professional classes. Uh, they're all online. There are some um, in person now on occasion here in New York, but also online. So you can be anywhere in the world and you can be taking classes from professionals in the industry. All right. I think that's all my housekeeping. And I'm so glad that you're here. So let's jump into this. There are some very important key points about 
equity principle auditions that I think really need to be addressed here. And so let's just take them, and this is in no particular order, but equity membership candidates, also known as EMC, are actors who are not yet members of equity, but are working towards uh, obtaining their memberships. They can attend EPAs as equity membership candidates, EMCs. EMCs accrues points for each professional work week they perform in an equity-affiliated production. So, uh, I want to give you an update about that. Uh, recently, uh, Actors' Equity Association has decided to do away with the equity membership pr provision, the EMC. Um, I find that a little bit distressful, quite frankly. Many, many actors who've been working towards getting points to becoming a member of equity now find themselves in this kind of a state of, well, wait a minute, I put in my time. Well, it looks like Actors' Equity is going to be making accommodations for those actors. So if you are an EMC candidate and you're still not sure about, should I join now or should I not join now? Being an EMC candidate entitles you to still go to EPAs. Now, the way that EPAs are structured, it's kind of important to know that there is a sign up for each EPA that is posted on the Actors' Equity website. So you can sign up. There's also a sign-in system wherever they're holding the auditions, and you'll get that information as well. So you can sign up for a particular time. You're placed in that order, and then you are seen. And I'll go into the detail about the actual audition process in a minute, but that's basically how it's set up. So principal roles that are happening uh, require that... Um, the EPAs become and are primarily for principal roles, which are very significant characters in a production. So these roles are often, they have speaking parts or singing parts, and they are central to the storyline. So know that the EPA is not for if you're interested in becoming a chorus member. That is not what EPAs are for. EPAs are for consideration for roles in that very specific particular production. So let's move on from there. Equity members, uh, those who already have full equity uh, approval or status, they have full membership in the union, they have the right to attend EPAs and audition for those principal roles. These auditions provide a platform for actors to showcase their talent to casting directors and directors at the EPA involved in the professional theater. So that's kind of um, interesting. That's kind of exciting that you do have an opportunity to meet with a casting director or the director uh, of that production. So there is a way to get seen. Now, the audition process itself is typically involves actors preparing and they present a monologue or a song. It's depending upon the requirements of the casting call. Now, actors may also be asked to read sides or portions of the script that's provided by the casting team. And so you might be asked to do a monologue, for example, or you might be asked to read a scene and a professional reader is also provided for that particular uh, casting call. Now, listen, the amount of time allotted is usually two or four minutes to come in, do the scene, do the work, do the monologue, um, and leave. <laughs> it's very, very short. It's very, very fast. Oftentimes, there's just not a lot of opportunity for the casting person to spend any kind of amount of quality time with those actors that show up at the EPA. So it feels kind of rushed. It feels like this is just... Um, you know, performative. This is that we just have to do this because it's a requirement. And sometimes it can feel that way. And sometimes it can be very, very valuable. And that's the core of the the subject, I think, for today. Really talking about is it worth your while? So we'll hit that in just a minute. EPAs can offer actors the chance to be seen by the casting director and potentially land roles in professional theater. Those productions are 
regional theaters. They could be off-Broadway productions, Broadway productions. This can be a crucial step in an actor's career, especially when aiming to establish themselves in the industry. So for newcomers to the industry, EPAs could be a valuable opportunity to be seen. Also, many think of it in terms of a great networking opportunity, that if you see a casting director at a couple of EPAs, that you're starting to develop um, a relationship, not literally a relationship, but you know what I mean, that we see the talent over and over again, that might just trigger something in us to want to bring you in uh, to be seen by the casting director in a callback or the director or the artistic director. Uh, the bottom line is that EPAs are required for every equity show being cast in New York City. The union requirements dictate that a certain number of actors be considered and seen for each role. They are not, however, viewed as a realistic method to being cast, although you will always hear about exceptions. Here's what I mean by that. If the expectation is that if you show up and you read a couple of minutes from a scene or do a two minute monologue, that this is going to be a really good shot at getting consideration. Um, I believe very strongly that it is not a way to get seen. It's not a way for, to get seen for actors, especially if they are not right for the roles listed on the EPA announcement. So if you're really right for the role, it is an excellent method to hone your audition skills and read and sing for the project. It is a hit or miss for theaters, by the way. And casting directors who are hired to find talent, they sometimes can be quite useful, but consider lowering expectations as there are other more typical, reliable ways to find talent. For example, going through agents. That's what casting directors do. Oftentimes, that's the first thing that happens. So if you are connected with an agency and you are right for a role, there's a really good shot that that agent's going to suggest you for the role. Um, those databases that are out there, Actors Access, for example, uh, uh, Backstage.com, for example, those are all places that have databases of actors that are awesome often awesome, often used to really comb for the talent that is being looked for. So it's important to use your own taste and judgment to decide if an EPA is time well spent. The EPA has some other additional elements that go along with this podcast today. And what I mean by that is this. I have seen at EPAs, and I've done many, many, the same actors showing up every time for every EPA, whether they're really right for the role or not. Now, that becomes, frankly, kind of frustrating. It is especially frustrating if that actor is doing the exact same material. I can almost, there's a handful of actors out there that I know exactly what their audition is going to be about. I know exactly how they're going to perform it. There's nothing new or interesting in the material. And so that is not time well spent. That is not a useful experience for the actor or the casting person. In fact, it can be the opposite. It can be, you know, I don't no, I could even take a chance on this person to bring them in now at this point because there's nothing new. There's nothing interesting. There's nothing more that I can invest in with this particular actor. Now, having said that, there have been occasions where the actor's perfect and I bring them in for the audition. And there are many times when those actors have booked things. So it really is a a whole kind of swath of different situations that might take place in an EPA. Do not believe that going to an EPA is really going to help you if you are not right for the role. If you think it's just an opportunity to get seen, I think you're wasting your time. If you think it is an opportunity to just keep fresh on your audition skills, that's a waste of time. You see, as a casting director, I want to know that you know yourself well enough that you can come in and bring interesting choices for the character that we're asking you 
to play. And so casting yourself well is critically important. Do not think of this as a an opportunity to become experienced in casting, or sorry, in auditioning. That's not it. That doesn't work. So it can be time well spent if the conditions are right. You also have to have the availability, the time. It, it can be some sacrifice of some waiting time, for example. But now they've got it streamlined to a point where you make an appointment for a specific 15 or 20 minute period um, and then you go in and that's all it costs you in terms of time. So it's not like waiting in a long line. That's old school. Um, so there are efficient methods in place that can expedite you getting seen. But really do take your time and think it through. If you are able to read the entire play, if you're able to read the description of the character, the breakdown, and it seems like, gosh, you know what? I think this is really, this really suits me. Then by all means, it might just be an opportunity for you. Most of the time, it's an exercise in futility uh, because we, being meaning casting, I take the work for EPAs. I like doing EPAs. I take it very seriously. I really love seeing the new talent that's out there. But I cannot say that that's true for all of the other casting directors that I know or that I, I'm familiar with. Um, it's different for each office. And so therefore, think it through. If it feels right, if it feels like it's something that you feel strongly about, then by all means, don't deny yourself an opportunity. Just use good old-fashioned common sense. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Casting Actors Cast. Please don't forget to review, like, and share Casting Actors Cast wherever you get your patios, podcast videos. Thanks. I'm Megan Grace Martinez.